So say, man, what it is, this Ty C. What I need you to do for me is L S C. Like, share, comment this video right here so we can creep into it, man. Y'all like to see what we got going. We got a full restoration on these. Come on, six. Boy, let me tell you about it. Y'all already see how they coming. Emotional, damn it. Quick little recap. What we did, we did a full deep clean on the entire suit. After that, went ahead and stripped and repainted that midsole. Once that was done, went ahead and stripped and repainted that up as well. Once that was all dry, went ahead and reset the suede of the nap. And then dyed that through a coat of dye until that bring that color back. Once that was all done, went ahead, did something y'all love to see, and I love to do. Went ahead, ice them bottles, man. Without further ado, let's go ahead and turn these joints from beat to beat. That look needed to me, man. Yeah, I see. First off, let's go ahead and start removing these lace and get these joints out the way. What you're gonna do now, go ahead and grab a bowl of water, pour your solution in the bowl, and we're gonna start deep cleaning the shoe. Take your laces, dip them in that bowl as well. Now that the shoes taped up, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start stripping that midsole. See all that cracked paint as well, right there. So go ahead. Start stripping the midsole, and then when we get to the top, we're gonna do a light, light spread. Cause like I said, we don't wanna strip everything. We're just gonna get that finish off, clean up them scuffs. We're gonna only do about two coats up on top, about six coats on the midsole. So as we go ahead and start stripping the midsole, what I want you to do is lightly buff around the whole shoe. What we're gonna do, we're gonna let the acetone and the cotton ball do the work. Don't wanna apply too much pressure and dig into the midsole, start messing up the material. We're just gonna slowly and gently let that cotton ball do the work, let that acetone soak into that paint, you'll get the best results. So now, take a new cotton ball, and like I said, we're gonna lightly go around this up and we just want to strip that finish off. Now what we're going to do is going to introduce your white paint and your paintbrush. Free game as we start to apply this paint if you want to maximize the best results and get that factory look. One of the most important steps to get any repaint, rather it's a touch up or a full repaint, is quick and light coats. Now what I mean by quick, just dip the tip of the brush into the paint and apply quick fast strokes. That way we don't leave any brush strokes or clumpy paint around them stitching area. That's the way to maximize that factory look. Keep this in mind for any restoration, any touch up you got going forward, I guarantee it will help you out a lot.
Now after you went ahead, apply two coats on the top, six coats on the midsole, all around. What we're gonna do now, strip off that tape, and we're gonna start tagging up that black. So now, after you went ahead and taped off all the whites, what we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna take a cotton ball and lightly rub some of that finish off. As we start applying this black paint, we're gonna do two coats with the same exact technique. Once all coats is applied and you remove that tape, we're gonna slide in your finish. What we're gonna do now is start icing them bottoms using our 40 volume cream. After covering the surface of the shoe, we're gonna introduce our clean wrap. We're gonna start masking off the shoe. That way, when it's under the indoor setting or if you're doing the outdoor, that solution don't dry up on you. Now once it's done icing, what we're gonna do, we're gonna scuff up, reset this suede lightly though. Make sure you go lightly, then we're gonna start dying that. Dust off all that shavings from that suede. Thank you.